Hi students, welcome to Engineering Graphics class. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar. We are going to do the intersection of a cylinder by another cylinder. Intersection of cylinder by another cylinder, which we, we, which we see around us. So many places we see them around us. When pipes are connected, no, we can see them. But the, here in this problem, we have got a cylinder, 60 mm diameter, 100 mm tall, standing on its base on HP. So this black is the plan of the cylinder, which is 60 mm diameter, 100 mm long, standing on its base on HP. And this is its end view, black, 60 mm diameter, 100 mm tall. I have named A, A1, B, B1, C, C1, D, D1 as four generators for the cylinder. Because I want to represent the physical boundaries A dash A1 dash B dash B1 dash C dash C1 dash in the elevation and A double dash A1 double dash B double dash B1 double dash C double dash C1 double dash and D double dash D1 double dash in the interview. I have marked only four generators to show your name the physical boundaries of the vertical cylinder. Now this vertical cylinder is penetrated by a horizontal cylinder with its axis parallel to both planes. What is the end view? The end view is a circle. Since the two axes intersect, since the two axes intersect, the end view is drawn as a circle with the center equal to or center on the axis of the vertical cylinder. Since their axis bisect, the height of the cylinder can be measured and at its center you can choose the center of the horizontal uh, cylinder's axis axis of the horizontal cylinder so this is the center of the circle we draw a circle 44 mm diameter the outer sun, the vertical cylinder is 60 mm diameter and the vertical is 44 mm diameter uh, horizontal is 44 mm diameter the vertical is 60 mm diameter and the horizontal is 44 mm diameter in this problem okay so I have drawn the two circles, I mean uh, the uh, end view of the horizontal circle, this is its elevation, this is its plan, I have taken 12, I mean 8 generators on the circle, it is ideal to take 12 generators but if I draw without dimensions, this 12 generators will confuse you, that is why I have reduced it to 8 generators, I will advise you to draw with 8 generators when you use dimensions. 1 double dash, 2 double dash, 3 double dash, 4 double dash, 5 double dash, 6 double dash, 7 double dash and 8 double dash are the points on one side. I mark points only on one side, that is sufficient. I draw horizontal lines through them and it mark 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash, 7 dash, 8 dash as the general address on one side and same order in the plan. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the procedure of Drawing plan, elevation and end view of the combined solid is over. Now you have to mark the points. How do we mark points? We mark the points where the horizontal edges of the horizontal object cut the vertical object. That's the principle. Here the horizontal object is a cylinder. Cylinder has no visible edges. That is why we have taken eight generators. Agreed? So the generator through one is the first generator. It cuts the vertical prism at this side at the P1 and at this side at the Q1. Then 2, 2, the horizontal generator through 2, P2, Q2, 3, P3, Q3, P4, Q4, P5, Q5, P6, Q6, P7, Q7, P8, Q8. Project to them. To, so that is the intersection curve in the plan. The intersection curve in the plan is over. You can connect them with a smooth curve. It's along the circular arc itself. That's the intersection curve in the plan. As you know, these generators are very light lines and they become dotted. Generators are not physically present. Generators are not physically present on the horizontal cylinder, we assume them, so they can be light and inside you can make them very very light or dotted. When you come to the elevation P1 and P5 and projected to the elevation will give you P1 dash here and P5 dash here. Projected through P2 will pass through P6. So this is P2 dash as well as P8 dash. This is P2 dash, sorry, P4 dash as well as P6 dash. 
projected through P3 will pass through P7. So this is P3 dash as well as P7 dash. P1 dash, P2 dash, P3 dash, P4 dash, P5 dash, P6 dash, P7 dash, P8 dash. Connect them by a smooth curve. This is the intersection curve on one side. Similarly, you will get Q1 dash, Q2 dash, Q8 dash, Q3 dash, Q7 dash, Q4 dash, Q6 dash, and Q5 dash. Connect them. You get two smooth curves. This become invisible or rather non-existent so you can erase them all the other generators that are inside the vertical cylinder need to be made dotted since they are existing there but they are not physically visible from outside so they can be made dotted this completes the first question i will tell you this is the most frequently asked the question for university examination this is the most frequently asked question for university examination very very simple one you can blindly draw this now suppose the horizontal cylinder diameter is equal to the vertical cylinder diameter suppose the horizontal cylinder diameter is equal to the vertical cylinder diameter what will happen it becomes a line like, like x you simply have to connect them by line a line, a line in this direction, a line in this direction. X. You can mark the points directly in the elevation without marking them in the plan. And then you can project, name the points. Draw the line and name the points. If you mark them in the plan and project, you may not get straight lines. There may be small errors. So you may get a, what you call as a curve-like thing. So to avoid that, and to ensure that it make it square, uh, 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 cross here, name it and then mark them in the plan to make it full. I hope you understand. Okay. Thank you.